Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today is June 7th, and today's weather is forecast today all day cloudy. And for June, man, it's only 65 out, you know, but well, it's nice too. It's cloudy, perfect for doing some detailing. So, this is the first time we have wash going to be washing the Jeep since the uh, hybrid charge has been on here. Um, it's been, I think, about six weeks it's been on here. We'll look at it real quick, and they're going to be washing it with Chemical Guys Hydro Suds Ceramic Car Wash Soap. We'll yeah, see how deliver a jaw dropping shine, and we'll find out. We'll see. And you can use it in a foam cannon, but today we're going to hand wash it. And we're going to be using the Chemical Guys Foam Blaster right here that you can hook up to your regular garden holes. We'll try that out. And then next time I'll use this product, we'll, we'll do it in a foam cannon. And basically, the directions is pre winch vehicle to remove loose debris, shake well, add one ounce help yourselves to three to four gallons of water, wash service, rinse, and clean. We'll dry it off and we'll see what it looks like. We won't use a, a drying aid, too. And I'm thinking about throwing some bee maker on it today because it's not going to rain. Um, so, do not allow shampoo to dry on service as you're washing well always wash out of direct sunlight a lot of times i'll wash a vehicle in sunlight as long as the paint's not hot you know sometimes you just got to do that and if i do uh, wash it out in the sunlight and the paint's not hot um i'll just keep wetting the whole vehicle down before i dry it so basically like if i'm doing the passenger side and the driver's side's already washed i will when while i'm rinsing off the um the passenger side, I will, you know, keep spraying the driver's side or the hood, vice versa, keeping everything wet so you don't get the water spots. And then when you're ready to dry, it just makes it easier. As long as you have a cool surface, too. You don't want to do it too hot. Like if the paint's like 90 degrees or something like that. And then let's see what else maybe it says. Pulse with um, insane amounts of silica infused suds that safely lifts off dirt from your paint. And then it can be used over existing waxes and sealants or any other protective coating to improve durability, gloss, and beading. So let's see if this uh, does give a good bead, beading. And then we'll see. I think it probably only lasts a couple weeks. So we'll try it out. Let's look at the vehicle since uh, we haven't washed it in about six weeks with the uh, purple charge on there. I did another vehicle, guy at work's wife's vehicle on it. So, yeah, I mean, we've been getting nothing but rain. I mean, it rained yesterday. And, yeah, it rained yesterday morning and the day before. I mean, we've been averaging lately. I think over the weekend we went like two days without rain. We've been averaging about five days of rain. So, I mean, it was pointless to wash this when it was going to rain, in, you know, in an hour. But that's what it looks like. It's not on a window. It's not on a plastic. I mean, I don't know. You could test it out on a plastic, but I don't know, man. I'm sure it would work, but is it going to show a lot of scratches? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll test it on the door handles. What do you guys think? You guys let me know. You want me to test the, the hydro charge on some of the plastic? Maybe the door handles? Maybe the flares? You let me know. Um, yeah. Because uh, today I might put some tire uh, kicker on there, make a separate video on that. But you guys let me know if you want me to apply it on some of the plastic. Even if I don't put on the fun flares, maybe the small pieces like here, the crowl, maybe the mirrors, and the door handles. You guys let me know in the gas cap. Maybe that'd be a good spot to test. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys will let me know. Let's see. Let's test it out and see how it lasts in the elements. But that's what she looks like. Not bad, actually. I mean, for not washing it six weeks and we get nothing but rain. You know, got some dirt. I don't see any water spots on it. So if you guys are concerned with water spots, I don't see any. You know, I mean, up here the hood, of course, that's mainly just dirt. And let's see if we look. Probably that side. You could probably consider that water spots. What do you guys think? You tell me. Hopefully you guys can get a good look at that. All right, and now I'm going to put some in here, probably about an ounce, and then an 
And then what did it say? Let's look again, guys. And an ounce in the bucket. All right, ounce in here. I'm going to use warm water. So I believe it says to use warm water, does it? Use a clean fiber side. And fill in the rest. Yeah, warm water. Okay, warm. So we're going to use warm water. It says it in the directions, and we'll see how good this cleans. And then don't forget, let me know if you want me to test it on the on the plastic. And then I'll do it this week, and then we'll make a quick video on it, and then we'll see how it holds up. Um, yeah, it probably will make it look good too. And especially like these right here, these always fade. It seems like on the Jeeps, the door, the hood hinges. That'd be a good spot, stuff like that. But I don't know about the fender flares. I mean, you could, but if you ever go four-wheel driving and you're hitting brush, you know, I don't know. This thing don't see that much. Of course, it's going to last on here. But for the guys that do hit the trails, I don't know. That's going to scratch up. You might have to strip it and redo it. It might help with the scratches. You know, I need to get up north and get go do some trails with this thing. All right, so... It out but before I stop I'll do the wheels first and the tires I'm not gonna make a video on that and then we'll get going all right well let me get set up guys and we'll get the wash you go well I already did the the roof um because it's hard to do a video of that doing the roof and then here's soap soap um from the high su hydro suds dang I can't talk today man sorry about that guys um, it's getting a little humid out. So, if it smells like grape, and then looking at it, here's the in the bucket with warm water. And it's really not that. It's got a little bit of slickness, a little bit, a little bit. But a lot of their soap is pretty much like this, um, about the same slickness. That's what I think. Using some of their soaps. Um, I do. Out of out of all the chemical guy soaps, I think they're Sisters Gross. Citrus, dang it, I really cannot talk today. Gotta have someone else do this video. <laughs> um, their Citrus Gloss is the best, I think. Washing Gloss, that soap is awesome. That really feels slick in your hands. I mean, even when your hand's out, your hand is just smooth. I mean, I really like that soap. You just gotta watch how much you use. I think that's their best soap they have. That's my opinion. I mean, that's what I think. So we'll start, we'll do the uh, hood, and then we'll keep going. Sorry about that, guys. I just cannot talk today. Man, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just weather. I don't know. Well, okay, like I said, it hasn't been washed in about six weeks. I'll have to look at that video to get the extra date, but let's do a little wipe it down and see. All right. That's what it looks like on the hood from not washed in six weeks with all that rain. A lot of it staying there, ain't it? We'll see what it looks like after we wash it. And of course, the panels, it's gonna slide right up, which is pretty good. Now, granted, I only have one coat on it. I should have put two coats on it, but I kind of want to see what one coat would do. Let's wash it up and uh, we'll see. We'll see what it's like. I dry it off, I'm trying to think what, it, what I'm gonna put on it after. I'm gonna spray something on it. put some bee maker I don't know I already used bee maker on it but that was on the poly wax not on their hydro all right bear with me let's uh wash it up you see kind of what we get I mean it does give you some uh nice suds which is pretty good You know what I could do since the sun's peeking out? Instead of drying it on the on the roof, let's uh, let's see what uh, what kind of water uh, spots we get on this on the clean surface. That's not a bad idea. What are you guys? You guys gonna stick around uh, to see the results from uh, um? See if we get any water spots on this hood before I do any kind of detail spray on it. Already right, did up there. That's not a bad idea. I noticed on uh, some of the other um, comments, different channels, they were asking. So let's show it. 
Let's show it. Let me grab that. I think that's what it looks like here. I mean, it does set up pretty nice. I do, I do like that. See it? Set it up. We don't want it to dry. Yeah. <coughs> Man, it is getting humid. My allergies are kicking too. That's probably why I can't talk. What has been crazy. Got so much yard work to catch up on too. Sitting there, looking good. So when I'm done washing, I'll change this. I'll change the nozzle out and see what we get. But man, it's not doing nothing. I mean, it's sheeting. Let's get it all washed up. We'll change nozzles and see what kind of sheeting we'll get. And then we'll see if we get any water spots. Yeah. But it's not bad. I don't think it's too bad. It's, eh. It's not sheeting like it used to. Of course that is, but I'm doing the one bucket method with the uh, grit guard on the bottom. Just make sure I rub it in there. And you're not gonna get any scratches. Coming on. I mean, it's cleaning. It's cleaning the panel really good. See? See the dirt here is coming off there. Let's see. It is cleaning. Pretty good. Got some tire sticking. Let's see if it comes off. If it's sticking, that's a no no. Let me see. That's coming off a little effort. All right, yeah, it's off. There you go, one there. I, that's how I go buy a product too. If it's not working, if the tar sticking to it, I got a couple spots. I got that one off. Let's see. All right, let me continue to wash, and we'll look at. Uh, some of the results and then we'll see if it's gonna get any water spots it's not bad now it's still holding up now it's beating pretty good but we want sheeting not beating or you want we want both all right let me continue to go we'll get it cleaned up i'm gonna check a couple spots tire spots and see if they come off if they don't then we'll uh it's not really holding up but i think it's holding up i just gotta wash it real good all right, guys, let me continue because it did clean it pretty good here. Okay, and what I did notice on it, the tar did stick to the panel, the whole panel, the bottom. Not a lot. I mean, not big specks of tar, small specks of tar. It did come off with a little bit of effort washing it without using a separate product. Now, this only has one coat, but there was some spots that did stick. The tar did stick in this little area here. Mainly down here, not a lot, just a little bit, enough to you had to work it, you know, work a little bit to get it up, but it did come off. Um, to me, the, the tire is sticking a little bit more than I would like. I mean, I had the poly wax on here, and, it, and the tire didn't stick as much. But um, I only have one coat on this, so but but it did come right off without using a separate product, in which I do like that. I do that's one thing I do like. So. We'll uh, continue to go. I figure bring that up so you guys will know. Side part of it. Now, to let you guys know as I'm working with it, it does have a similar smell to me of hypercharge. It could, maybe it's the SIO2s in it. I don't know. But it does uh, have a similar smell to it, like that chemical smell. I don't know. I mean, that's what I'm getting out of it, like a, uh, a solvent smell. I mean, I used to be an auto painter. I mean, it kind of kind of reminds me of a solvent a little bit. Um, that's where I'm getting from it and from both products from the soap and their uh, hypercharge maybe it does have a little bit of SIO into it um, who knows or maybe a lot but I don't think it has a lot but it probably has a little bit into it and I believe what it's made out of sand I got some black beauty sand sandblast sand in my garage I used to sandblast all the time when I did when I was in industrial painting 
I basically painted everything back in the day. And I got out of uh, painting, oh, maybe, maybe 20 years ago. No, wait, less than 20 years. Um, maybe 14 years ago. Just got out of it, you know, working with all those chemicals. But yeah, maybe I can make up my own. <laughs> but, uh, I believe that's what it's made out of. If you guys know, let me know. Out of uh, sandblast and sand. I have some of that black beauty for sandblast, and it's black, it's real crystallized. You gotta wear a mask when you sandblast, or we always used like a hood and uh, fresh air, a fresh air unit when we were blasting uh, structural steel back in the day. Uh, that's not, this video is not about that. That could be another video um, about all the, the careers I had. So, but that's yeah, looking good. I got this part washed here. So far, it's cleaning it pretty good, this soap. I mean, it that's it's working. I mean, is it giving it a lot of beads and that? Eh, a little bit, not much. But is it giving protection? It probably is. You know, we don't know. I don't know. Um, but look, since we it's been sitting, so we're going to see if it, we're getting any water spots. All right, let me finish this up. Washing it right here. Washed up pretty good. Looks nice. Um, got the tar off it did come off even though i'm not a big fan of uh having a product uh stick to it i mean the tar stick to the product dang i can't really hit. but uh yeah i'll scrub the tires man i cannot get that brownness off of there i did that tire three times but um uh, oh well and uh we're back to subject here i'm gonna dry off the vehicle i'm gonna re-wet it before i dry it off i'm gonna dry it off and then we're gonna i'm gonna dry the windshield and then we're going to leave um, the really wet uh, hood and then we'll see if we get any water spots. And then and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, uh, let's see, let's, um, instead of bee maker, let's try out their V07 gloss sealant spray. We're going to put this on here and we'll do that after I dry it and we'll check out water spots first. Um, let's try this out never tried it it was given to me from a friend so we'll try that out another thing too if you guys are into bee maker i know a lot of i love bee maker i bought a gallon of it and um if you guys are ever wondering about the bee maker does it attract dust yes it does like crazy it attracts dust that's one of the downfalls about bee maker so here's the proof that it attracts dust this car sits in the garage um it's been sitting in here for a week not in this spot it was on the other on the other spot i moved it to uh try to straighten out the garage um still gotta do that and get pull stuff out but yeah look at it let me turn the light on you guys see it but this does attract dust i had it out last weekend to the detail garage car show so this is basically all one video D detail news we'll just call it what do you guys think if i want to bring up other subjects other products on a video that we're testing another product on you guys like that or uh, or maybe should I make a separate video on stuff like that you guys let me know but yeah see that it uh, bee maker does attract dust so hopefully you guys that use it and never wondering about it are watching this video you can see that I'm not gonna touch it but as soon as you squirt it off it's gonna come right off I mean the car is pretty clean Nope. Look at all that pollen on it. No wonder I can't talk. Dang allergies. Look at that. That is crazy, ain't it? That pollen is just popping. Stuff floating in the air. Ain't that crazy? All that stuff floating in the air ends up on the car. And that bee maker just attracts it. But um, it works right off. But I still like that product. It's a great product. Well, anyway. All right. I'm gonna squirt everything down and dry it off and then we'll uh we'll check this hood and see if we get any it might take an hour or so i'll do some other stuff and in the meantime so uh, let's wet it all down i got a different uh nozzle on here now so i can get a different effect and then i'll just i usually kind of wipe everything wet everything down like i said it's like you're in the sun so you can, won't get the water spots when you dry it off and we can try 
especially on windows. But, uh, let's try a different setting. Let's see what we got here. We got shower. What about mist? There's a little bit of different effect, huh? Would be the Miat mist. About six weeks with the product on here. And then we got this hydro suds it's supposed to create beating that's what it says on the bottles well what do you guys think of that that's beating is it the, the soap or is it the uh, hypercharge oh hypercharge ain't on plastic just look the plastic yeah maybe it is check out the door panel It beat it at that pretty good, didn't it? Hmm. Yep, it beat it the plastic. It's nothing on a plastic. A couple months ago, I put Bee Maker on it. That wore out. That stuff only lasts about three weeks. Month tops. Yeah, look at that. All right, we're going to leave that and see if we get any water spots. That's perfect. Nice beads. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That beat it up nice. Like I said, on these, you guys, you know, use your own judgment. I mean, I have different weather than everyone else and a lot of uh, other uh, people. Uh, you know, you, you might be uh, always 90 degrees hot. I mean, like I said, right now we're June, we're only 65 today. It's a little humid, um, but that's really it. I mean, we don't, we might get hot maybe just July. Last couple of years we've been pretty cool. That's mist, that's jet, that's what about comb? Try comb. Let's try that on the hood. Alright. Hopefully I'm not too boring with you guys trying to make this. I'm just trying to do different effects. Try to see if these products work. Dude, that sheet off, you guys. That sheet off. Watch. Oh yeah, look at the round bead. Look at that. The water. Look. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Those round the uh, water drops. Just slide right off. Oh yeah. Hey, I need another person. The kids at work. Oh yeah, that stuff, this soap's working. And the product. Yeah, look at that. What if we could do that effect out here? Oh yeah. Alright. Let me do the... Dang, this, I gotta get... Let me do this for you guys. Let's get the, our beads back. And then we'll check the water spots. Alright, 
I think it's working. I think the product's doing well. It's still got a nice shine. All right, I'm going to dry it off. We'll leave the roof, uh, the hood, I mean, um, dry and see if we get any water spots. So, you guys, keep watching. All right. I'll wait for the water drops, the, for the dry for uh, water spots. Man, forgive me, guys. I forgot to use this to show you guys this. Oh, next time I wash it with the foam cannon, we'll do this also with the foam cannon. We'll make one video next time I wash it. I'm sorry, guys. Please forgive me. I just, oh, I got so much on my mind. You know, with the kid graduating, we're getting his party ready, his graduation party ready for this weekend and getting some stuff for his uh, schooling for a firefighter, to be a firefighter. Um, been doing that this week and then trying to do some stuff in the yard. I'm sorry, guys. I really am. I looked at this at the table and went, oh, no way. And I already did the video and washed it and the snap. So, uh, yeah, guys, I, I'm sorry not by not doing using this. Oh, I'm bummed out. But uh, I'll put it on your next video, guys. So, all right, we'll still wait for the for this, this to dry. I can't believe I forgot it. See, I don't know if you want it on plastic. See, you got these scratches here. That's just going to amplify it. Maybe on the mirrors couple of little spots door handles maybe i don't know man see all the trips here that's gonna because when i put the bee making on here before you can really see that so man i my opinion i don't know man i i want i don't know i don't know I'm, i got mixed feelings on the i'm putting on the plastic exterior plastic even in the engine i don't know man i just it might look good it just i don't know i got mixed feelings on it not saying you can't do it or it's wrong i just i'm still thinking on it dwelling on it i might try it on my my daily driver or something i don't know a couple of spots this has a lot of plastic you're putting that on there so you guys tell me what you think you know all right we'll still uh right, we'll I'll still see wait. if we get any water spots and from here i can see yes it's hard to see what that sun came out now on us. Uh, right here. See him? Hopefully you guys see him. Right here. Hope. Let's see. Yeah, it does give a little bit. Not a lot. Here. Um, here. Here. So you, you've seen all the um, beads there around there. We're getting, you know, through here we have some really see it right here so we get a few yeah so it does give water spots so anybody wants to know right there hopefully you can see it in that angle here all right so that's about it that's what it looks like to me it works it did a pretty good job um washing it cleaning it it looks nice and shiny um, i don't know that's what i think i think it worked i mean that's my opinion on it Gave a little bit of a gave it a lot of beads from uh, before from not washing it, and um, but it could be probably both products, most likely. And then I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna go and apply the Chemokai V07 spray. But first, I'm gonna make sure the sun came out when I was waiting. Make sure the panel's not hot. Nope, we're good. It's a little warm on the hood, but we're all right. Two sections at a time, the paint's still cool. Yeah, it did leave some uh, water spots on it. But so far, so happy with the soap. I mean, I think it uh, does It does pretty good. Um, you can see that when we, when we did the spray, it, it beat it up really nice. Hurry up and get busy. Put this on here while the sun came, just came out too, a few minutes ago. We're gonna put this on here. The V07, basically. Uh, it says don't do not apply in direct sunlight make sure the surface is cool of what you're talking about touch and apply but hey sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and the sun just basically come out a few minutes ago and then we're gonna i'll do the roof real quick before the, the paint gets too hot if it does hey it's starting to get nice out today. v07 i did the the hood real quick before the paint got did get too hot the side panels are still kind of still cool it did take the water spots out v07 did take the water spots out you can see come on get that done real quick before it warmed up 
But uh, it's basically just like a detailing spray. It's basically, it says uh, gloss spray sealant. It's a uh, formerly bond technology, combined spray sealant technology with high gloss polymers to create a product that only can be described as amazing. That's what it says. It's got UV protection in it. You can put it on paint, glass, all exterior surfaces. Basically, shake it up. Don't apply any direct sunlight. Just make sure your paint's cool if you are in the sun. To any surface, use a clean marker soft towel and gently wipe the area clean. Just like a detailing spray. Basically, it says here, use between washes to remove dust, bird droppings, water spots. They always say that. That's pretty much just the detailing spray. You know, spray down here. Pulls to have a spray sealant on it. How long is this going to last? I don't know. So, just put it on here. and It does help get your water spots off. So, if you are using the hypercharge, um, and if you do have this or you want to pick it up, it will take the water spots off. I'm sure any, de well, any detail spray pretty much should but here it is goes on nice and smooth streaks a little bit not but not bad it's easy to use you guys can see the results there you go the flash is pretty good streaks up a little bit but my towel is a little bit damp there there the streak is going away Yep, it's disappearing the streak. So yeah, it works pretty good. I'm not gonna go over the whole thing on it. We're just gonna look at it and be done. Done. Washed up with the hydro suds, and we sprayed it down with the V07. Looks pretty good. Um, got it done just in time for that sun to come out. Look at that. Just in time too for you guys to see that silver pop. So yeah, it works pretty good. The V07 does did get off the water spots on the on the hood, so you can use that. Put it on the glass. Check it out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I think uh, the soap did all right. Next video on the soap, we're gonna try it out on the the Kimmel Guys blaster that goes on your your garden hose, and then we'll use the uh, power washer. Sorry guys, I didn't put that in there. I already had, I got it full, ready to go too. Uh, that stinks. I'll dump it and try again but there's the results i mean it worked pretty good we've seen the water test you guys i don't know make it ju judge it for yourselves from the video you tell me what you think me personally i think it worked i think it did give a little bit of a layer of protection on it how long is it gonna last i don't know but by going by the smell from bull products using bull products the hydro charge and the suds i would have to say that it must it probably does have some uh SI2s in it in it because I'm going by that so if anyone that says watch this video that has used both of these products let us know in the comments about both the smell or like the solvent base I mean that's what I got from it um, but uh, yep that's my opinion on the products you know so all right guys you know thanks thanks a lot for taking your time out and watching this video uh, I kind of made it messed it up a little bit you know talking and forgotten i'll put some stuff in it um, so i apologize for that but you know this is i pretty much don't edit my videos i just kind of think about them a little bit uh do a little bit of research on the products and then just make the videos that's it i use my uh cheap gopro and um and and then basically try to make it real as possible instead of have everything you know like script or you know really really professional like a you know a movie script or something like that so basically what you see is what you get when i make a video and i try to improve on them so well since me going on i appreciate you guys enjoying this video and um you guys have a great day later <laughs>